Whoops. Okay, one second, you guys. But yeah, what's up, everybody? Um, I just had to... I always restart my capture card now before starting stream because of that weird thing. Uh, but yeah, how's it going, everybody? Yeah, so I just... If you guys missed the uh, Eleonora Poleblade video, that's... It just went live like an hour ago, less than an hour ago. Yeah, we're gonna be I'm we're gonna be continuing the zero runes playthrough, dude. I I've been This is this is one of the most fun runs we've done so far. And we like we're just getting started, dude. So I'd love to see it. I just started streaming kind of quickly, so I just like forgot everything. <laughs> so just one second. I was, too, I was too excited to get started, dude. That's what happened. All right, here we go. Yeah, what's up, you guys? <clears throat> yeah, hopefully you guys liked that run. That was a pretty cool run. Um, I would have been interested to see how the weapon is without um, like getting those talismans at the start. I think it would still be really good. But... Man, like that's that's a, such a cool weapon. I, I picked it up on this run. I might use it for some stuff. This is pretty damn cool. My audio is my audio is still messed up. I don't know why. I think my main like my main speaker that I'm using might be like messed up, and so it's using my monitor speaker. It, it's actually not bad, but maybe I need to get a new one or something. I like using speakers. I hate using headphones. I really hate using headphones. A lot of people, they think I'm wearing them. It's just every streamer wears them, but. Yeah, how I got the talisman. Yeah, I, I, um, I kind of just forgot. But it's all good. I, I, I posted like a pinned comment about it. Because I was gonna, like the first one I saw, I was going to respond to. And then I saw that there were more. And I'm like, oh shit, I guess a lot of people are wondering. So hopefully it's okay now. Um, okay, what one thing I have to do, I just have to check, what was the, does anybody remember what the timer was at, at the end of yesterday? I could just check, of course, but I, I would like to, I don't use the in-game time for this since the timer is on my stream PC. I'll have to, when, whenever, I, if I ever do speedruns again, I'll have to switch my setup so that I'm streaming, like, or capturing OBS on my gaming PC so I can have all that stuff. It was like 60... Or, or it was like six hours, right? Six or seven hours. Yeah, I did see that recycle bin. It's hilarious, dude. I, I can just go check really fast. Just I don't want to go back in time or something. But yeah, we just we ended up beating gar double gargs last night. I mean, obviously, like I did. We we spent <laughs> for people who were there. We spent literally three hours, um, climbing a mountain in the gargoyle boss arena. We did figure out that you can climb out of the boss arena. So that's pretty funny. Let me just see what the timer is at when I ended. I guess we were at probably like seven hours. Or no, six six forty five. But yeah, if yeah, here, I, I I can show you guys what it was. But basically we yeah, we spent a super long time climbing. <laughs> we spent a long time climbing, but we did have, like we we actually spent three hours, just for no reason. But then I did figure out that you could get up here, and uh, you can get outside of the boss arena with no glitches or anything. Like you just get up. So, I guess that's kind of cool, but it's also really useless. But you know that's that's part of the fun in playing games, dude. You just do stuff. Okay, six forty-five. You say six forty-five. It is six minutes and 45 seconds. That's not what I want. Here we go. Okay, let's go again. Do I reset? No, we're, this, is, this is what I would consider to be a casual playthrough. Um, where I, there's no resets no matter what, basically. I'm going to dump my runes really fast. Yeah, I guess I... I How's it going, everybody? The Bricky. Yeah, so we just killed double gargs, and they're not real, like I, I think it's a garbage boss, but they're not that hard. It's just it's just a matter of being patient, waiting for the right openings, you know. 
I've never really, even when I did just R1 plus zero, I never really had much trouble with them. But here, I, I can show you guys what we were doing yesterday. Um, oh, actually, I don't have the butt slime Ash of War. Let's go get it. Who knows? Maybe there's some other, like, skips that are possible with it, right? What's up, uh, Ecoli? Welcome back. Matt, how's going? Valence, Moses, Stuxy, uh, Sam, what's up? What's up, Ghost, Chaco? Moses, I think I just said hi already. <laughs> what's up, Jack? <laughs> the three-hour clip. Well, maybe, maybe we can get some, like, trimmed down version of climbing the mountain as some meme video. I think that'd be cool. What's up, Hobbs? And Mojack, what's up? As well, Firehawk, how's it going, dude? Else, welcome back. Let's go, Puma. This run's really fun, man. I, I, I've been, th I was thinking earlier, like, I'm gonna have been so much fun playing this game, dude. Actually, I can't, I can't even remember a game that I've had this much fun playing since, like, Morrowind or something, dude. The more I play it, the more I like it. It's, it's interesting. When the game first came out, at the very start, I, I thought it was going to be my, like, favorite game ever. And then it was for a bit, and then I, I kept playing it more, and then as I got further in the game, I started liking it less and less. But now that I've been playing it for, like, you know, over a thousand hours, it's, it's going up again. Yo, Kizoku, thanks for the brand new Prime sub. Thanks so much, dude. Okay, I got Ground Slam. I, I don't know if I'm actually going to use it, but... Do a tutorial for killing Draconic Street Sentinel? Like, the, the cheese kill? Yeah, I could maybe do that. Okay, so, an update. We've killed 33 bosses so far. 33 bosses. And we can literally just go anywhere. I would like to get a bit of a better setup for certain things. We don't have a great fire weapon. Oh, here, what one talisman that could be useful. Let's go get this one. Uh, ride Wolfheart. Explain the main dynamic of the game. Um... Kill enemy skill boss die time. Yeah, that's that's basically right. I mean, like Souls games have sort of the they have the the mechanics that are staples of the games, right? You got stamina, you you have iframes on your rolls, and that's that's it, right? And so it's all about learning learning the bosses and and getting better over time through like just grinding them down basically until you're good enough at them so that you can beat them. But then there's also a lot of build variety in the games, too, that can 100% affect how easy or hard something's going to be. I'm going to attempt to use Unseen Form up here. Ah, oh, I wish I could just level, like, a tiny bit of intelligence, dude. It's so annoying. Audio. What, like, what, uh, what's being weird? Maybe you just got to refresh or something. Yeah, for people who don't know, we're doing a zero rune spend playthrough, which essentially means I cannot do anything that requires me to spend a rune. So no purchasing anything, no leveling up. You can't upgrade any weapons. And that's about it. We also can't craft because the crafting kit is locked behind a purchase, right? You have to buy it. How's it going, Thor? What's up, dude? So that is what we're doing. And we're level 10 because I started Confessor. And I think we have a great build so far. Um, let's take out the Holy tier, I suppose. Let's go with the Intelligence. Uh, Bio, welcome back. Upgrade on the anvil? You actually can't, because it still costs runes. Really, I will not get poison. Hurry up! Oh! Okay, we made it. 
Yeah, I started with Confessor, not for really any reason. I guess we started with a, we start with a seal. I guess that's good, but I just like the Confessor. I think Confessor is my favorite class. With the broadsword. There's actually some poison resins here that I kind of want. I mean, I'm gonna get poisoned here regardless. So, test this. Test this. Uh, Benji, thanks so much for the two-month Prime sub. Welcome back, dude. Guess I'll use this. It's nice having all this extra knowledge in the game when doing this run. Somebody brought it up the other day. The comparison of me doing... Wow, that's not great damage. Of me doing this run versus um, when I did the RL1 plus zero run. That's really bad. And I definitely do have a lot more game knowledge at this point. Yeah, I killed the gargoyles. Yeah, I just I just fought him straight up. Nothing complicated. I don't really know how to fight this guy very well. I did kill him on the uh, on the fist run though, but the way I fought him wasn't really that good. I was getting hit a lot. Climb strats, hot for sure. Are are they really? That's good to do here, I guess. What's up, Shiro? I guess you could just rinse and repeat this strat. I'm, I'm sure there's like 10 times better ways to kill him, but. Here we go. Stillwater cave. A boss count. I guess I could if you want me to. I probably should, yeah. I'm gonna die if I send here. Actually, I'll just put one in here. Let's see if I, I, I had... Um, I had this all set up before, except I, um, kind of got rid of it. Is it this one? I don't know what the problem is right here. Oh, actually, I do know the problem. Um, okay, this might take a second, you guys, but it might be worth it. I know uh, people were also asking about, like, a death counter, but surely I never die, right? <laughs> I've never died. Surely. Okay, it's because stuff is linked to the wrong path is why this is a problem. Oh. God damn it. Okay, one moment, you guys. I'm <laughs> almost there. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, Wild Baboon, thanks for the six month resub, dude. Welcome back. Okay. Okay, I just gotta. So, what I normally do is I usually just use the hit counter and then I like crop it. Do that. Uh, Getsuga, thanks for the two month prime sub as well. Thanks so much, dude. Yeah, and then I just I just crop the hit counters to do this usually. Let me do that. I'm sure there's a better way. Um What color do I make the Something like that. That's kind of not right, but. Yeah, how's this, you guys? And then, what are we at? Like 30? I think we're at 34. Oh, and now it's the wrong color. Surely that's good. Oh, shit, Matt. I look away for five seconds. Uh, thanks for the 10 give us ups. Also, Java Morris. Thanks for the brand new Prime. And Wiener Og. Wiener. Wienerog. Wienerog. Thanks for the, <laughs> the brand new Prime sub, dude. Okay, hopefully this is good enough. Oops. Um, let me try to match the color, though. At least somewhat. That's probably good enough. Wiener Pog. <laughs> Wiener Pog. Okay, sounds good. All right, hopefully that's good, you guys. The OG wiener. Okay, so we got a multi-hit talisman. We actually have two now. So that's pretty good. Oh, wait. These are... Are these the two... Yeah, you can stack these, of course. I would love to use Eleonora's pull blade, but... I need the... We need the frog helm. So let's, uh, let's go to Volcano, you guys. We need the frog helm. Go to Volcano the old-fashioned way. Do you subscribe? You are already subscribed, Shiro. If, if, when you got a badge, you're already sub. Maybe somebody, like, gifted you or something. All right, while we're here, uh, what what is our good holy weapon? Ah, of course. Our good holy weapon is Siluria's Tree. <clears throat> What's up, Madness? Siluria's Tree is a great weapon, dude. I, I really like it. With the holy tier. Yeah, when I was doing my first R1 plus zero playthrough, I wasn't really I wasn't really focused on trying to optimize my setups at all. Let's go with this one and um of course this one. I guess this one's probably better. I wasn't really focused on trying to optimize my setups at all. Oh, I don't have a great rune. Oh. That's too bad. I can't even wield the weapon. Oh, what a disaster. I should have used Ordovus. Where's Ordovus? And... Pretty poured off to. Here you are, you bastard. Well, that did nothing.
I guess this guy's just insanely fucking tanky. I'm trying to heal, and I keep using the wrong flask. I hate this boss so much. You really gotta be using like Sacred Relic Sword on these guys, dude. Just to, just to wipe out all the skellies. <clears throat> oh, cool. look at his wheelies doing right now. Holy shit, what a jump. Okay, well that was uh, pretty rough. <clears throat> Got another death route though. I actually think we have enough to go get the uh, bestial vitality. Yeah, we got no stats. Is why our damage is so bad. That is correct. Done hit, done hit list? I, I don't see why not. Really wish I had a rune arc. I could have killed that boss, I guess, but I'll just come back later to him. This is, is this Mighty Shot? It's some bow Ash of War. And I, I always forget, and then I kill him. Oh, it's Barrage. Oh yeah, boss count, thank you. Um, is that accurate? 35. Yeah, we're doing, we're doing every single boss in the game. Every single one. We've got two stone swords, so... I, we're gonna have to go looking for stone swords at some point. That is one thing that... One thing that we're gonna have to do, because we can't just buy them, right? 
One on the ledge. Uh, up there. What's up, uh, Taka? Thanks, dude. Welcome in. Uh, yo, what's up, Tachi? Was that supposed to be it? <laughs> or... <clears throat> or is that not supposed to be it? There's probably one in this cave, too. How many did I use to get in there, too? It's fine. We'll just go. We'll just go. Um, once we need more, we'll go looking. Because I know there's a lot that I don't know about. So let's go and cheese butt. Bad we can't use the uh, volcano pots on this run. I'm. I love those things, dude. Uh, my favorite for FromSoft, that's not Elden Ring, is Dark Souls 2, I think. <clears throat> I like Dark Souls 2. But it's not, you know, once once it's after Elden Ring, it's they're not that far apart. Let's go kill this uh, big hammer guy. Right, the difference between my favorite and my least favorite after Elden Ring is it's not that big. Yeah, Bloodborne's still my least favorite. But again, like, that doesn't mean I don't like the game. <laughs> I mean... Oh! Because it was in, in one of my, um... <clears throat> in one of the YouTube videos, I said that Bloodborne was my least favorite, and so, uh, like, expectedly, so many people were just like commenting, like, how the fuck is that possible? <laughs> and stuff. Oh! I do not know this moveset at all, but I'm learning it. How dare you hate Bloodborne? It's like, no, I don't hate Bloodborne, but it's just my least favorite FromSoft game. <laughs> I just wanted to fight this guy, and then somehow this other idiot aggroed. Here we go. a break, dude. <clears throat> Give me a goddamn break. This guy's so cool. Oh! 
Shit. I love this guy. He should have been a boss. I, like, there's no question in my mind that this guy should have been a boss. He should have had a health bar. How many hours? I, I think I have around 1,400 hours in the game so far. All right, Fire Scorpion. I guess we're going to fight this Magma Worm, but... Let's see if I remember these movesets. <clears throat> but yeah, DS2. I like DS2 for a lot of the same reasons that I like Elden Ring. Um, there's a lot of good mechanics in the game that I think... I I'm a, I do no hit runs, right? That's how I... Literally 99.9% .9 of my playtime in these games is doing no hit runs, and... DS2 is really good for no hit running. It has a lot of mechanics that make it more interesting with build varieties and different routes to get through the game and stuff. So that's like a that's like a short version. You know what? I'm I'm gonna go um I need to get get that bleed spell. <laughs> Nine hour, yeah, dude. Nine hour playtime equals God at the game, of course. <clears throat> Let's go. Go with what? Let's get the stone barb, dude. Actually, stone barb sucks. Stone barb kind of sucks. Unfortunately. Spiked is good. The duration of... What was I getting? I was getting Blood Flame. The duration of, of those Physic items really is important. And Stone Barb would be... If Stone Barb even lasted for a minute, it'd be insanely good. But it does not. Yeah, I think... I, I, I honestly think Stone Barb is really only useful. I could be wrong about this, but... I feel like it's only useful when you have an, like a calculated strat. I'm gonna get this on too. I don't. I don't want to get one shotted. I'll sacrifice some damage. <clears throat> so we're gonna proc him, and we're gonna charge our two with blood flame blade, with the twin blade. the move set pretty quickly I really like these guys except for this attack I think this attack sucks a lot Got, we, I want to get him away from the lava. Oh, he's coming, dude.
Nice. <clears throat> I like those guys. And, and the phase two is cool too. In my experience, the, the best way to fight them, I usually in, in Souls games, the way you're intended to fight bosses is by being at the front. But with those guys, I, I think you just got to sit at the tail, dude. Maybe that's 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 kind of like the advice that everyone gives people, right? It's like stay at the butt in Souls games. But I, I think there it's actually true. Usually it's not true. There it is true. I think. Of course, pick up the runes on the on the zero rune spend playthrough. Obviously. Let's go on Bender. Any any useful stuff around here? Of course, trigger the Rune Bear and then run back to see what the item is. Oh, Roiling Magma. Magma. Where'd the Rune Bear? Oh, oh my God, he's like camouflaged in. Um, I've played, I've played The Witcher, yeah. Oh, God. That's not what I meant to do. Did you guys see that, too? It, it, he was camoed in right there. Yeah, the, the Witcher I have the most time in. I have the most time in Witcher 2. I've never actually gotten into Witcher 3 that much. I've played it for a bit, though. I think, I think the issue is that, you know, at this point, me playing different games, especially a game like that, that requires you to spend a lot of, like, you have to really commit to a game like that. And I just don't really have time to do it, I guess. How did you just at least do that? Okay, we're going to somehow manage to win this. I remember getting one-shotted by that attack on R01 plus zero. I'm dead. Yeah. Nice one. And I didn't get the grace. That's right there. What am I doing, dude? This is a steak. How long do I typically stream? Well, at this point, it's very sporadic because it's been the holidays and stuff, but usually I'd stream eight hours. Yeah, I'm just giving the boss a chance, dude, obviously. I would like to do this the proper way and kill these bombs first. What do you do in all boss no? Like, all boss no hit is so... The way you can do all this stuff, it doesn't really help you for a normal playthrough. Unless you're coming back, unless you're like super overpowered. Like, dude. It's ridiculous. I don't know why I went this direction. Oh boy, I wish I had Assassin's Gambit so badly. Assassin's Gambit makes this so much easier.
And I think I actually I, I seem to remember testing some strats where I tried to just bait the boss only. And I don't remember it working. If I could just bait the boss near the grace, that would be perfect. Pretty good. I wonder if you could cheese the boss off with a repost or something. Probably not. I don't know if this is possible, what I'm trying- Okay, oh, here we go. Ah, beautiful. That's how we do it, I guess, and now... leg. I want to see if I can poise break and knock her off. Except this is not going so well. Unbelievable. Yeah, I've done uh, I've done a few Skyrim runs, and they are all they're all on YouTube, but it's from it, it is from like a while ago, and I think this year I'm planning on doing more. I just I'm so curious to see if she can fall off, but what the best way to do this is to just get her into a corner. At least the best way I that I know of, and just basically poker in the in there. Please don't reach me. Yeah, she keeps walking back though. I think that mage is going to hear it. There's probably some good strategy here for this sort of thing, but... not a bad strat. I like that. Just bait her out. Let's go into harmony. I really like this area, dude. I think this area is awesome. And for upgrade weapons, that is correct, yeah. I do have, there are three weapons that I know of in the game that you can get that are pre-upgraded, which we can use. And I, like I have been, uh, the first one is the Spear from Patches, and then we also have the plus eight Bandish Knight Halberd, and then we also have Roger's Rapier, which is plus eight somewhere right here. 
Oh, dude, I forgot Common Azura, of course. How could I ever forget that? Master, yeah, exactly. Just be a master baiter, dude. Uh, this rapier's um, Ansper rapier. We got poison and rot on it. Uh, well, it just default has rot. Really good. Let's go, Opai. Why am I going down here? I guess we're getting the ring finger. Considering buying Elden Ring, I would say that it is easily worth it. Should I just bone back or is the faster way to just go back up here? It's going to take us forever. Bone back, I guess. Yeah, the game is definitely worth. Oh, I can. Oh, actually. No way. You guys are joking, right? Okay, I, I, I'll go. Let's go do it. Man, that would have been nice to know for all bosses no hit where I lost fucking three runs in this dungeon. Trying to ride the guy. Because normally I just drop down here, right? So somewhere down here you can drop down? Oh, dude, I had no idea. Wow. I actually cannot believe that. <laughs> Well, that's good that I know that now, at least. But, like, on my all bosses run, we were riding down this guy. I dropped on him. And I could have... Well, I mean, maybe it's not that simple, right? Because there's still some extra enemies you'd have to deal with, but... I probably would have gone this way had I known. strat. Uh, yo, Sign, thanks for the brand new Prime sub. Thanks so much. I might just so bad at this guy. All of a sudden.
really like uh, these enemies, man. I really like them. It's just too bad that... It's too bad that the, uh, the like, main Red Wolf that you need to fight for all Remembrances is in such a terrible arena. That's the, that's the problem. Let's go and Panda. Why don't I fight them? Oh, well, I just, I just did. Yeah, they put a fucking wolf in a classroom. I did... Wait. <laughs> I did fight them on all bosses. I'm kind of curious about something. You guys think I could cuck read this guy? I would assume no. Oh. Oh, it actually didn't aggro. Or did it? It's confused. But it's definitely aggroed. Hey, you guys ready to see this, uh, this rune farming strat? Allow me to demonstrate this rune farm strat. It's not really a rune farming strat. It's just funny. You simply wait. be funny if it just doesn't happen. Trust me, you guys. It'll work. I've done this once, and it is 100%. <laughs> Trust me. Oh god, it's not working. Oh! Trust me, you guys. Trust me. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, Pay, thanks for the eight-month resub, dude. Welcome back. I guess I missed the weapon down here. I told you guys to trust me, dude. No, this isn't no hit, Kindred. It is not. Dude, I can't see whatever emote that is. <laughs> Did I, I... I marked the bosses, right? 38? It's funny how the game doesn't trust you to open the map on a ladder. Isn't that funny? You just cannot open up the map on the ladder. I can see that. Oh, bye. I just have to refresh my chat, I guess. Oh, welcome, dear customer. Yes. Oh shit, the falling star beast, dude. I totally forgot about this guy. Can you What statuses can we can, can we bleed those guys or what? I just you square off on them. Square off just kind of makes them easy. I assume I can't bleed them. Are you going to hold the mat? Just simply put one foot on the ladder. 
or two feet on the ladder, one your left hand on the ladder, and then open up your map with your right hand. It's easy. It's easy, dude. Yeah, so we'll just do the normal strat. Poison rot, and then square off. Do I, do I need to refresh my chat so I can see this, or is it not worth it? <laughs> Did I try that strat where you, you knock him in the head when he's charging at you? I probably shouldn't. I do not have a good success rate with that strat. It's a pioneer. I like using the pickaxe on this guy. It's very satisfying for some. Oh, shit. Really? Nice one. I love when there's a five degree angle and therefore you cannot repost. I love that. Whoops. Go back to the rot. Maybe I should get a stun and then try to rot. Oh my goodness, why? I love, I, I do really like these enemies. Oh boy. They're just, it's too bad. Basically all of them are in some horrible area. It makes it a hundred times more annoying to fight them.
No laser beam. Beautiful. Oh, the falling star beast jaw, dude. We had some good times, but you are crash now. Yep. Once so great, now bad actually it's not bad anymore or it's, it's not bad but it's not like insane yeah they did nerf it yep after the all boss and no hit run which i think was a partial cause <laughs> to why they nerfed it um but yeah they took away the poise damage on it basically so it's quite weak because that, that's why it was did i add a boss to the counter you guys or yeah, it's, I, it, it's not... You can't just cheese things with it anymore. It's still not horrible. A good ranged Ash of War, but... Yeah, it, it doesn't got that poise damage anymore. Uh, Millennia's X, thanks so much for the five gifts of subs. Thanks so much. 39. Alright, we made it to Volcano. Um, Let's go kill the Tree Spirit, I guess. We get Golden Vow as well. Of course, we'll use the Twin Blade. Actually, I don't know if Twin Blade's that good for a Tree Spirit. Obviously, Square Off is really good. You want a... a you kind of want a single hit, high poise damage attack. And I'm pretty sure they're weaker to Slash, too. Which I guess... guess man, let's use the Uchi. Uchi's probably very good for them. No, this isn't no hit. Gino, the Machino, the king you all know better than Kung Fu, Panda, Po. Nothing to say so by Gino and Fo. Wow, that's beautiful. <laughs> I don't understand it, but beautiful. Amazing. Yeah, the Uchi should be good for these guys. Because it's got the right damage. I, I think they're weaker to slash. I just kind of assume that. But, um... But yeah, we got the bleed on it. We have unsheath. High poise damage. Fast. Hard hitting. Probably like the perfect weapon for them, actually. The only problem is that it doesn't do 40 poise damage. And when you headshot when you headshot enemies for the most part in this game, you get 50% more poise damage on the hit. So square off goes from 40 to 60. And they these guys have 120 poise, so you square off you can Um If you hit two hits to the head, it's an instant poise break. I assume I can I can proc rot on this guy, right? We got poison. Here we go. 
Can you jump this? This is a great setup, man. Oh, okay, interesting. Gotta walk a little bit closer for that. I bleed. Nice. Oh man, yeah, I did an extra attack and almost got punished for it. Follow up. Very good. I know a lot of people don't like those fights, and I, I understand why, but I actually, I enjoy fighting them. Um, for the most part. Obviously, I don't like that when you're in a small arena and you gotta fight one of those guys, but... Shitter dog. Now, Anastasia loves jumping off the edge, dude. Unlike that Marais invader, who does not. Let's go here. I'm going to go get Vow of the Indomitable for Rykard. I just want to have a proper setup for him, so... Unsheath does do uh, 30 poise damage, yeah. On the R2, that is. R1 does 20. Do we have a good NPC killer yet? I, I, no, I don't... I, I want to get, like, maybe the Watchdog staff for NPCs or... something else. I don't know why I went from this way when I could have just went from here. This is not a no-hit run. Uh, there's a spreadsheet, uh, Penguin. If you do exclamation mark poise, there should be a spreadsheet that it links to. I don't know if everything's exactly accurate because things have been changing with the patches and stuff, but that's probably a, a decent place to start. Yeah, impaling thrust is good. That's true. It is true. I do want to try the watchdog staff, though. Let's go on Evil Wolf. How many hours um, to finish the game? Well, I think if you're if you're doing if somehow you did a blind playthrough and you did everything possible, it would probably take um, I would say at least 250 hours, but. Nobody nobody does that because it's almost impossible since there's so much stuff in the game. So I think probably on average, if you were to just do as much as you can, it's probably like 150. Oh, 
why'd you go that way, you bastard? Vow of the Indomitable. Oh, yeah, no, th yeah, could easily be more than that. I, I was just throwing out a completely rough guess. <laughs> like, yeah, maybe it could even be 400 hours. I think that's probably fair. Oh. He's trying to grab me. Weirdo. <laughs> Someone's got to screenshot that. Do, do you get anxiety? <laughs> That's so funny. All right, let's go into Volcano, I guess. The one boss I didn't kill is the watchdog here, but I'll just go back, I guess. Um, we rarely risk fascinating. So, about the bow, if you have, rise with a... You're now you belong. The drawing room. I am Tanny. Easiest Summer 7 early game? Yeah, I would say so. I mean, there's not really another one. The, I, I think the the second earliest Somber 7 is the one that's, uh... That horrendous. It's the one in the, in the sewers. I really need to go get Bloodhound stuff, you guys. I'm going to go do that. I could have killed that knight, I guess, but... Probably easier if I just go cheese this guy. Uh, where, where Nokron is, is one. Oh, that is true, actually, Sigmodo. Yeah, especially if you do the skip. That's a good point. Yeah. Yeah, if you do that skip, and then... Did you not see me? Are you serious? It's a Bree. Oh, got over here fast. Body check. Come on. Nice aim. Jesus, so bad. Have poise? Oh, this guy's got a lot of poise. Some of the highest effective poise in the game, possibly. And I don't know why, but just what they did. <laughs> Body check? I guess that kind of works. We got him eventually.
Now, those are the challenge by the way. It's like every every time somebody knocks him off the edge, he gets better at not falling off the edge. That's what's happening. I should I put Bloodhound step on? Um, I shouldn't put it on the Starfist. Starfist is too good to put something like that on it. Something light, preferably. Put on the Scavenger. Don't buy anything? Yeah, I won't buy anything. Okay, so we got that. Oh yeah, so let's go back to Volcano. Get the, the Forg helmet. Went from a samurai turning into a sorcery samurai. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. Just like in real life, the sorcerer samurais. I don't have the beast torch, so this might kind of suck. It's going, Groovich. Welcome back. Oh, I missed a stone sword pickup. I definitely should go back. What's up, Abdul? Thanks, dude. All right, we got the, the helmet of the frog. So now we can actually, let's use the twin blade on, on this boss. Eat so much ice cream? Uh, what kind <laughs> did you eat? Was it mint chocolate chip? Actually, I just realized since I don't have the rune arc, I, I can't. I can't use the twin blade. Up here. You have a severe shortage of rune arcs, you guys. So I kind of would like to use the pole blade on this fight. Or we could just simply win with the star fist. That's probably what I'll do. Just simply blast the boss down with Star Fist. This is probably the easiest way. Go online helping people kill boss for Runa. I'm not good enough to help people, dude. I'm definitely going to use Serpent Hunter on Rykard, yeah. It is a painful experience to use anything other than the Serpent Hunter, unless you got some, like, mega sorceries or something. Or not even sorcery. If, uh, unless you have... Like, there's some, um... What was I doing? Rag Blade. I should probably uh, duplicate this Ash of War. There's some good miracles or incantations against Rykard. I wonder if I actually did go online and put my sign down. If people would summon me. It's like a parry is here as well.
I believe we got them both. I blood flame on it. Insane. Why are the, why is there like a fucking random ledge there? I'll just chill for a bit <laughs> instead of trying to do something. The worst attack in the game. Or one of them. It, you know, is it the worst? Definitely could be. What is this thing up here for? I've, I've, I have no idea. Just dump the runes. Oh, reaquest. Okay. Yeah, I was doing, um, we're doing a casual playthrough where I'm trying to do like all the quest signs. I'm trying to basically do everything that I haven't done before. And so I'm sure I'll do it eventually. Creative, thanks for giving a sub to Duchess. Thanks so much, Creative. God's gonna Stitcher good? I think it is good. I, I'm pretty sure it's good. Maybe I'm mistaken, but. Get rid of all the main menu messages that appear. Oh. I think if you're starting the game with easy anti-cheat, then there's actually, there should be a stone sword over here, right? Oh, is it the tutorials? I, I yeah, I don't know. Wait, I, I don't know which room it's in. It might have been that one up there. Maybe it's down here. No, it's up here, I guess. Really thought about going through this direction actually. I wonder if that could be better for no hit, maybe. How do we successive attacks work? Yeah, that no, that's correct. Yeah, it, like so there's stacks, so there's different there's different boosts based on how many hits you've done in a row. Um and you know, for example, I, I don't know the exact percentages, but like the Rotten Winged Insignia gives you like 12% at maximum stacks. I think there's three. I, I, I might be wrong about this, but I think there's three. And then 
yeah, they start to decay after time. And so one one of the stacks will leave. So say you're at max stacks and you get getting like your full percentage damage. Then um what an awful throw. And then if you don't attack for a bit, then it'll go down to like the second stack and then so on. All right. I didn't equip the Ash of War, and I don't know why I went to round table. I'm so used to not having the, the wet knives. Yeah, I wish I, I do wish they gave more information on that stuff. Catholic, yeah, that'd be nice if it was all obvious, but it's really. I, I, I would guess they don't do it because people would be just overwhelmed by what stuff means. Maybe get too intimidated or something. I've, I haven't fought this boss in a normal way. Actually, you know what we could do, you guys? Ah, oh, I... No. I was going to say we can go and get... We can go get Determination. Uh, creative, thanks for giving another sub to Catholic Cats. Thanks so much, uh, Creative. It's okay, let's just win the fight. So, in terms of setup here, probably... What do we want here? Probably like this. I guess it's good. Oh, love this attack. such a shame about this boss I like this boss is so cool when you fight him the intended way but when you don't I think he's just such a bad boss I should have used the ash of war here oh I was not looking oh boy Please hit. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea why I just did that. Oh, it's because I, I was going to... Oh. I was going to try to do the loop on him. I'm still going to try the loop on him. Well, so the way it's intended is obviously to use the Serpent Hunter, right? And the fight when you're using it is really cool. But if you try to do the fight... In, in literally any other way than using the Serpent Hunter, it's it's a horrible fight. Right? It's probably the least fun fight in the game when you're doing it not with the Serpent Hunter. Or, like, there's very few options that you have.
I'm gonna try to do the loop in phase two. So it's it's three of those attacks, right? Before he does the did not mean to do that. So I think we're at one. We should go into it now. Why? Oh god, he did it again, dude. Does this not work the same way? Oh, I, yo, I, I remember. Okay, okay, I remember now, you guys. I remember. Because there's actually certain attacks. I remember when they patched the... Uh... No, it's it's not four. When they patched the the old cheese, like if you guys remember back a while ago, you could do the you could do a loop in phase one where you just do the Ash of War over and over again. Um, the the strat in phase two is so he does three of those those attacks that get the the things in the air. But depending on what attack he does, he can potentially do another one because it's queued up it, and it completely depends on the attack is what I remember so like that one it's just something you have to know um, like that one he will do an attack every time after but there's certain ones where he doesn't I can't remember which ones though back when I was testing this I, I figured it all out but Yeah, it's just something that you have to know. I'm sure when I do some other runs, I'll remember it. Or I'll have to remember it, like plus zero runs. Yeah, since, like, what, what I do on all bosses no hit on this guy is we just blast him. So I, I don't really have to know that. Because it's scripted phase one and phase two. Great right card out of ten. Um, for my preference, he's probably like a, honestly, he's probably like a three. I, I think when you're fighting him the way he's intended, it's like a nine. But because, you know, this is a game that has a lot of builds in it. And the, this boss just doesn't allow you to use those. That's a big detriment in my opinion. Nice. So this one. So see, you guys see the things going up in the air? So this is two. So he's done two. So when he does the third one, is when he queues up his big, like, meteor thing attack, whatever it is. We'll do one more. And I... Is this one? I think it is. Okay, see? And then he queues up the attack. So right after this, he's going to do it. And now we can do this loop. so we loop him for the rest of the fight. And if you do it soon enough, the reason why you want to do it soon enough is so that you don't start getting the the uh, lava spouts. And yeah, we figured this out a long time ago when they patched the old cheese, but nobody's really had any need to use it because... Or maybe somebody uses it, I don't know. And 
And you actually, unlike the old cheese, you get a ton of time between these hits. I could probably do two poke attacks between each um, each hit. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. I don't know why it works like that. I, I assume it's an oversight, but it's good to know, I guess, if you have, you know, plus you're a servant hunter or something. But yeah, that's that's a, it's an interesting cheese to never get that, never get that. Uh, let's go get the watchdog staff. But yeah, you never get the big. I I don't know what to call the attack. I usually call it like the hell attack or something. But you just never get it. Use his weapon in this run. Yeah, I can use it. I don't know if it's going to be great for stuff, but I could. Jesus, what the hell is wrong with you? Let's use... What's got on the imps? Let's use the large club, maybe. Yeah, the earthquake is trash, but that's why you want to get Vow the Indomitable. It makes it not trash. You just... Simply dodge it very easily with it. Uh, the death poker is from the death right bird in Kalid. On it's like on the east side of it. Use the finger, I guess. <laughs> you just beat Breitgard. We shot 30 minutes ago. Well, it's something that, you know, once you know it, then you can just use it on every playthrough. In phase two, and you just never get that attack, but it's not like it's that big of an improvement. I don't think I'm actually going to fight this boss yet. Just because I don't know what weapon I'd want to use. I'm just here for the watchdog staff. Pest Threads is probably the highest damage in the game on Elden Beast. I, I think I, I, I highly doubt there's anything that's actually more damage per second on him. Was this build based on? Well, we, we're using a lot of stuff, right? Be since we're not upgrading anything, since we can't, we can really just use anything. Do I have the stats for the Watchdog Staff? or 34 strength. Do I have the strength tier in? With the strength tier and... I guess I should easily be able to wield, wield this thing. strength. I've never really tried this on NPC, so I'm, I'm curious if it's good. Apparently it's really fucking heavy, though.
Oh god. It does zero damage, dude. It actually does zero damage. Disappointing. unlock you oh shit he's doing his own thing to me he's trying to stunlock me oh boy wow I didn't get one shot from that dude no I just want the weapon I just do a normal uh, claw grip, Boris. Nothing special. I got blasted, dude. Maybe I can get him from the spawn. Too bad. I just, I don't have a great NPC killer right now, I guess. Let's just use, let's just use this. the best I have okay uh, so let's go the reason why I picked this weapon up you will see shortly I forgot it had bleed on it let's go from here Yeah, this run is zero runes spent playthrough, so I cannot spend any runes on anything. But no upgrading, no leveling up. Um, no buying, obviously. I'm not using any glitches on this. I really don't like using glitches because then... I don't know. It feels like it just takes some of the challenge away if I just use, like... All the glitches I possibly can to make it easy. I usually don't do that. I think I marked right card. Pretty sure. And it's not no hit. I know usually the stuff I do is no hit, but this is not. Oh, Black Flame Tornado, really? Could try that on the next NPC, I guess. Yeah, Flayla's good on a lot of them, especially some of the passive NPCs, because then they're they're trying to, you know, get their first swing off and they just can't. So it's really good on no hit runs to pick up, you know, certain weapons that are locked behind NPCs to just use the flail on them, but I guess it's not as good on Not as good on, like, just the invader NPCs or something. I do have the peeler, yeah. Yeah, I was thinking, I, I, I don't know where to use it, but I was thinking definitely on, like, class you'll use it. Not really sure where else, though. I think that's an Ash of War that it's more, it's better used when you're 
have a ton of poise and HP, you could just tank and just blast them with it, but we can't really do that. Okay, let's get the strength. I guess the multi-hit is probably perfect with this weapon, isn't it? That sucks. Please survive. Ah, uh, <laughs> God damn it. I should probably kill one of them and then use the wheel. It's probably what I should do. Yeah, the wheel has like a unique thing here where you you stun them really fast with it. But I think lightning lightning does the same on them, right? Or is is holy good or is holy bad? Let's use the dragon halberd for the first one because lightning is insanely good on them, from what I remember. Let's go with uh, this one. Look at that damage, dude. <laughs> Jesus. That's some good damage. Oh! What the fuck? I don't- I don't have a ritual shield on. Ah, of course. This is not a boss that I should be dying to. Alright, surely this time. I actually hate this boss so much. Dude, that fucking damage. Oh my god. Okay, let me try to use the wheel. Maybe I shouldn't, but... What? I can't wield this still.
That's what I get for trying the wheel. I literally got it just to use it on this fight, and it's killed me twice <laughs> right now, dude. I'm not going to try the wheel anymore. I was trying to show that it'd be cool because you can, you can like stun them fast, but I think the lightning is just better. So I would just simply do that instead. Oh, I could actually put in the lightning tier as well. One hand R2. Yeah, but it's that like, I guess I could, but I'll just simply win with the dragon halberd. Uh, my favorite FromSoft game is this one, but thanks for the uh, 245 bits. Go for the full combo. Oh, Jesus. I don't know if this was upgraded. You'd actually just one shot them. Okay, there we go. Yes, uh, Santa, thanks for the 245 bits, dude. I appreciate it. Hey, that took way too many tries, dude, for a boss like this. Um, I think that's every Volcano Manor boss. I guess to finish off Gelmir, we'll just go here. Uh, this boss counts as one. That's just one boss. You know, it's kind of nice that I don't have to worry about my runes on this run at all. Upgraded weapons? Uh, I have, yeah. Like the spears plus seven. But the only reason I can use that is because I didn't upgrade it myself, right? I'm going to attempt to just gun it through here. Yeah, there's only three that I know of, Uprison. Surely I can sneak past him, right? Yep, I, I have the Rapier from Roger as well. I did not see what that message was. <laughs> How many runs have I done this game? Uh, no hit runs or just... Just playthroughs, you mean? Okay, so what are... These guys are weak against strike, right? Is that correct? So, obviously can't go wrong with iron balls. Not go wrong with iron balls. Oh, an insane crypto link, dude. Oh.
a scary attack, man. Bye. Oh man, the star fists are so insane. It doesn't look like it's it's that much damage there. But if if we tried like other setups, we'd be dealing so much less damage than that. All right, there we go. I think that's Oh wait, it's actually not every boss. Don't miss this guy. Let's get on the Kindred of Wrath. Probably something with range. They like to move around. Probably bleed. Oh, the pull blade would be so good on them, but I don't have a rune arc, I don't think. Where should I go get a rune arc from? Because I'm pretty sure the pull blade would be the perfect thing for them. With the Ash of War. Um, where do I get a rune arc, man? How much sleep do I get on average? Uh, around eight hours, I would say. Where the hell do I get a rune arc, you guys? I don't want to farm. There must be some pick up somewhere. Oh, is there one in, in here? Is it over here? Oh, it's after the omen killer? Alright, I guess we're fighting this guy. This might be a little bit painful since we don't have any... That was not good. Can you stop? Oh, you thought you were going to heal against me. You bastard. Hey, hurry up. I won't kill you this time, I guess. The one time I don't kill this guy. Yeah, normally you would use the beast torch on uh, this boss for the dogs, but we obviously cannot get that, so... Maybe I can just pick him off, though. What's the strat on this guy? Like, backstabs, maybe? Nice one. Can you not backstab him? Holy shit, this guy's actually... He's insane, dude. And I can't see anything. Uh, what's up, Venture? Welcome in, dude. Good lord. I just got totally decimated, dude. What's going on, Ozzy? You can backstab these guys, right? I, I thought I could, but I whiffed at that time. Oh boy.
Nice boys. Yeah, simply just buy a lantern. In the fucking dog herd, apparently. Alright, well I'll just backstab Lubin. Or maybe I should take out take out the dogs first. There's only two, as far as I know. Oh, there's three. We'll just fight him down here. Cause I, isn't there one? There's one behind. I thought there was one behind there, maybe, but maybe there's not. Can you parry these guys? Seems like pairing's probably, uh... Oh, that actually does hurt you. That's so dumb. Eat that. I want to do my full combo, but he can just poise out of it. Nice one. Hmm, interesting. All right, Runark. So let's go. Go in here. It's a punter. We're, we got that so that I can use um, the pole blade with the frog helmet. I still don't have enough. Where do I get one more arcane from? <laughs> oh, you're right. It is 46. How do I get one? I thought we had enough arcane with this, but. Oh, the mimic helm. Oh, yeah, you're right. see anything. <laughs> Getting that um, flame cleanse me spell would have been pretty good. Because I am going to get poisoned. We'll just have to not use these two, I guess. We'll use, um, probably like the multi-hit stuff is good. Is there, there's not a rune arc up here, is there? There's some rats, I know, but I guess not.
It's styled on rat. I'm thinking this will be this will be a good weapon for this boss because of the uh because of the the long range on the Ash of War. That's what I was thinking. And the bleed. And I'm pretty sure oh, I guess it's not slash, but I'm dead. God damn it, dude. But actually, they, they have more HP than I was thinking for some reason. And there goes the rune arc, and so now I can't use the weapon anymore. Oh boy. Rip the weapon. Let me try the peeler, maybe. And also, I'm heavy load. Uh. I don't think I should use the peeler. I think probably scavengers is good, or the, just the twin blade. What's more fun, Faith or Int? I don't know. Wow, that's crazy, dude. Just got totally blasted. Another boss of all time right here. I wonder if... I, I don't think I've ever tried Gambit in this boss arena. Might work. It's kind of too late now. Oh wait, it's, it is too late. We need to go do the Rani quest so that I can get the intelligence talisman. That's what I gotta do. Because with that, I think I have, I guess I only have nine. Is 14 enough? We could also get the crown. Imagine doing a no hit on this boss with this low damage. You'd have to cheese him. Look at this guy. No. Oh my God. I'm dead now. Okay. Just This is why I wanted to use Eleonora here, because they just fucking run around you all day long. What an absolutely shit boss that is, dude. That's such a bad boss. Okay. Why am I 10 vigor? Because we can't level up. That's literally the whole point of the run, basically. I guess there actually still is, there's still one more boss here I haven't fought. Yeah, the entire point of the run is that we cannot spend runes, so. No, 
no, blocking, blocking is actually, it's kind of a bad habit, but it does, it cancels animations sooner. No, it's not RL1. We are not RL1 right now. But we cannot spend any runes, which obviously means that we cannot level up, right? Because it costs runes to level up. We also can't upgrade weapons and we can't buy anything. Well, the different, I mean, if we were RL1, we'd have 10 in every stat, right? And so, zero runes, you can start with a more optimized class so that you can wield more stuff. Oh, that's good to know, Riley. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. Possibly. Whoops. Yeah, we've got we've got a plus eight, Albert, but it's not necessarily the best, right? This enemy is so dumb. dead. Osiris wannabe boss. Here we go. Okay, now I think officially that's that's the last boss in Gelmir. I guess we cleared out Gelmir for some reason. Where do you guys want to go next? There's not really any... I guess we could go kill... Uh... Oh. Where's the, where's the grace down here that I got? There's some grace that I got somewhere. Oh, the catacombs. Let's go down here and get the uh, talisman. Why do bleed proc a bit later? It's because of how blood flame works is it builds it up over time. So you like hit somebody and then it bleeds up for a little bit. It's sort of like, it's the same as what Moog does to you. What's up, Fenjal? And Valhalla, welcome back. It's okay. I, I don't want to rely on the rune arcs too much because I'm going to keep dying, so. Oh, shit. I really forgot about this. Have close to 1k moves memorized? Not really. There's still a lot of these bosses that I'm pretty trash at, which is why I'm still dying, but. No, I, I, like, I've done some, some playthroughs where I've had to fight these bosses for a bit, so I just kind of remember vaguely. And I, I have done all boss no hit as well, so that doesn't hurt things. It's definitely going to see me. Wow. You are an idiot. It's not level one, but where it's no leveling. I didn't start with deprived or whatever the class is called, the wretch. Because there's no point. Uh, this is Moog Shackle. We don't we can't get Margit Shackle because you have to buy it. We have to use Moogs. Surely these guys won't blast me here. Ah, get cheesed off the edge. Yeah, it doesn't matter what shackle you use to like move stuff. I'm just going to bone back because I want to get rid of my runes. What's up, Aziz? 
I don't I don't want to accidentally use a rune somewhere and then like invalidate my run. Oh boy. Okay, so this guy is not fun. And I think the play right now our best NPC killer seems to be the spear. But we have to deal with the dogs. And we don't have the beast torch. So It's a good dog killer. Actually, the Reduvia is not bad for the dogs, actually. Or maybe I should try to use, I don't know, Teluria's tree. Yeah, we, we can't get the Beast Torch because you have to buy it, right? I don't know if I can use the tree right now. I probably can. Let's try to use the tree. Oh yeah, we can use it. All right. And then, yeah, once we use that, then we'll just use the spear on the NPC, I guess. Let's get uh, this one. Oh, it didn't one-shot him. Nice. It's kind of dangerous, dude. Life without the beast torches is, is bad. Here we go. I just got a heal. I would like to use blood flame. If I can. Oh, there's also a... Shit. There's also a troll's roar loop here on this guy. Should we, should, maybe we could do that. I can show you guys it. Maybe. It's not great, though. It just We don't have much damage. Uh, let's go with maybe this one. I'm gonna die. Oh my god. That's fucking relentless, dude. <sighs> oh my goodness. It's not working very well. I'm dead. Don't kill me. All right, let's just use the goddamn spear. We we don't have enough stats to make use of that very well. Where's the spear? Did I see the goddamn spear? Oh my god! He one shot at me with the fucking ash of war. Devastating. Uh, yummy Snacky, thanks for the eight month uh, resub and Wheels, thanks for the brand new Prime sub as well. Dry Bones, thanks for your gift note of sub, dude. I appreciate it. And Ellie, thanks for a gift note of sub as well. Oh, that's what I get for trying that, you guys. That's what I get. I was dumb. I should have just used the spear. The tried and, and tested spear. Father Fishy, thanks for the uh, prime sub as well. Wait, can I, can you just not aggro the dogs? Oh no. Those are some hard hitting dogs. This is rough. No beast torch is so painful. Right here. It's d destroyed. I really should get on the... Virtual shield that survived that, probably. Man, 
<laughs> yeah, such a great boss. Oh shit, dude, dry bones. Thanks so much for the uh, the five gifted subs, dude. Make sure if you got a sub, make sure you thank dry bones for that. Wow, this might be one of the hardest bosses simply because we can't use the Beast Torch. I just get decimated so fast. Is there any other strategy? Like, does maybe Gambit here? We can't use Gambit, of course, so unseen form. This actually seems to be working. Oh, and then it's gone in five seconds, of course. Try Tornado. Well, Tornado's just going to get me one-shotted, though, I think. Oh, this is this is actually so painful, dude. Just because I can't use the beast torch. Yeah, it's not a bad point, Liam. That's not a bad point. Oh, man. <laughs> Drive on. Thanks so much. Thanks so much for the uh, 10 gifted subs, dude. Yep, that's the block. A block habit. Eating my input, of course. Oh, yeah. Maybe I should wait for Wave of Gold. This is actually so shit. Yeah, make sure you, if you got a sub from Dry Bones there, make sure you thank them again. Dry Bones is insane, dude. I, let's just come back here later. This is dumb. This is really dumb. Yep, killer penguin boy. Oh, shit. Proof, thanks for the uh, 1337, dude. Yeah, thanks so much, dude. And you're right. Yeah, we have to buy. We have to buy Sacred Relic Sword for like 10k. Can't even use it. Man, that's really too bad. That's, I do have the Death Poker, yeah. Good point. Maybe that is good on them. Uh, God Run 3 will be soon. <laughs> yeah, the insane no media share, dude. I'll try Death Poker. I'll just, I'll, I'm just going to get the next grace and then I'll go back. Yo, not Nate. Thanks for the two month resub as well. Thanks, dude. First try Godwin 3. I don't think I'll first try it because I just, I'll have to spend quite a bit of time getting consistent at the, or de-resting at the other games. Um, but I probably won't attempt the Godwin 3 until I feel like I'm consistent, so maybe. 
Did I climb the Garg's Arena after I went offline? I did not. I just like went to bed after that. <laughs> no, DS2 is pretty easy. The, like the um, Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 3, and Elden Ring, I'm very consistent at because those are the games that I played the most. And so it's like Sekiro, Bloodborne. Uh, Demon Souls, I haven't even no hit yet. That's the only one that I haven't no hit. Uh, Proof, thanks for the thanks for the two month reset as well. Welcome back. And yeah, Dark Souls one I'm actually not horrible at, but I'm gonna have to spend some time de resting, of course. You have to restart all the games, great, yeah. I don't think Demon Souls is bad. It's just, you know, most runners they they stay away from using magic and stuff, right? But I I'm not, I don't care. <laughs> so I'm gonna be using literally the best setup I possibly can. And from what I've heard, magic is insanely OP in Demon Souls. So, are oh, this is just the spear? Spear. It's the spear spear. And yeah, we're going to be doing my first playthrough of Demon's Souls remake um, probably next week, I think. All right, let's go back and I'll try Death Poker on him. See if it does the trick. No, I'm going to do a no damage run king on it. I'm not going to do no hit because no hit in Sekiro is really dumb. And I'm not going to get into it, but. All right, let's try this thing. Is it the R2 that I want or the R1? R2, right? Oh, it's the fucking the R1. Well, that sucks. Still not even bad, just poking the pillar there. I don't think FromSoft has ever made a more annoying boss fight. No, this is this is worse than Gideon, but the the thing is on this one you you have options, right? The fight shouldn't normally be going like this. It's just that we can't since we're doing some like really weird restricted run, we can't use the proper stuff. This boss is a, is a solid 0 out of 10, <laughs> I would say. Probably should use the R2 there. Yeah, if you have the Beast Torch this fight, it still sucks because it's an NPC, but it's, it's definitely more manageable. And these dogs are doing really well. Nice one. Ah, nice one, dude.
Yeah, it's in sticky. Is sticky white stuff? Is that like what's the alluring skull version in that game? Oh, this actually has a lot less range than I thought it did. Hmm. Did not mean to do that. Of course, this guy's just a fucking god. Nice backstab attempt, you shitter. Oh my god. <laughs> there we go. This is the play. Finally. Now we simply blast you with this. Oh, you're a god! I can't believe you just did that. <laughs> what a god, dude. wall I actually can't believe that made it around the pillar Unbelievable. See, because I, I rolled because if there was like an R1, I'm pretty sure it would have just comboed me. So maybe I shouldn't have rolled, but. And then I get blasted. Who tested this boss and put it in the game, man? Who did this? Who fucking did this? Maybe we can try unsheath. Well, there's, there's not really... I was thinking, yeah, I could come back later with Sacred Relic Sword, but... Of course. <laughs> of course, dude. But, uh... But I can't, because you... When you transpose Sacred Relic, you have to buy it. It can cause runes to do it, so... And other than that, there's not really... Like, what other ranged option could I use here? Halo Scythe would be good, but I have to farm that. The Watchdog staff does zero damage for us.
Oh, you're right. The Halo Scythe Azure can be obtained. Maybe that would be okay. Uh, simply use the Beast Jaw. Beast actually wouldn't be bad. Let's try the Beast Jaw. I'm fat rolling. Oh, I can't. Wait, what do I not have? I don't have the int or the strength. That's a we wait. I. Why do I not have the strength though? Oh no, I, 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 do, I do have the strength. I don't have the int though. That's a mind. That's too bad. Oh, rot breath isn't a bad idea, actually. That's a, that's a good idea. Or I, I think I actually already bought it. Let's try the rot breath. Or ice breath would be good too. Surely, this is the key. What am I missing? But wait, does it require intelligence as well? Oh, arcane. Oh. Frog. I wasted the infinite FP tier. Okay, I think this is it, you guys. This is the strat. This is definitely the strat. And I actually, I rotted the dogs too. So, uh, this is the Moray's robe, I think it's called. We got the strat, you guys. That was, that was actually really good. Oh, I didn't get the dogs this time. Damn. And we need to get the dogs. That's the most important part. And I guess the infinite FP tier actually does nothing. I, I kind of thought I could hold that for longer. But. Yeah, they were just yeah, they're just waiting, dude. Okay, we got them. We got wait. We only got one of them, but probably good enough. I can't believe we're getting stuck on a boss on this run, dude. 
This is crazy. Yeah, and I, I've never had, like, when I did R1 plus zero, I never had issues on this boss because I had the Beast Torch. So, it just, it makes the boss so easy. Alright, this is the one. We got them both. Until I get fucking triple comboed here. It's like he knows that you're low health and he just fucking goes after you. Of course. Of course he does that. He just goes fucking psycho mode and then <laughs> does two R1s that I can't get out of. Of course he does that. Too bad because the, the first time I did that rot strat, I, I procced everybody with rot. I wonder if I can try to use the ant spur on him. I think that's a bad idea though. roll out of it that time somehow. I don't know why. I don't know why I couldn't roll out of the last one. Wow, that's insane.
That is insane. That that boss was so hard to kill, man. On this run. All right, where should we go next? Yeah, he like jumps at the the last fucking second, of course, to try to end it, dude. Like, how would you do that on on low damage? That fight would be so annoying. But of course, you just use the beast torch. So, let's go. Let's go. Uh, let's go into here. Yeah, so that, that fight shouldn't be a problem on, like, almost any run, but... Unless you can't use the Beast Torch for whatever reason. Yeah, we could do the Apostle at some point. What is good? We want Lightning, so let's use the Dragon Halberd here. Yeah, in Dark Souls 3, Zero Rune spent, um... I guess there's a lot less items you can use to boost your stats. So you're a lot more restricted. Yeah, no crafting kit as well. we can't buy carrying retaliation up there yeah true i mean doing no upgrade in dark souls 3 is is probably easier than in this game but it depends though i don't maybe that's not necessarily true but it is in Dark Souls 3, it's pretty easy to get your hands on some bleed stuff and, and frost. And then you can just easily beat the game with that. In this game, when you're trying to do all bosses, there's a lot more bosses like what we just fought, where they're just not, not a good boss at all. Yeah, I forgot to update the counter. It's just like a, a shit boss and you're missing a key item for them. And it makes them way harder. Yeah, Trio Crystallian, I think we're going to do some sort of... It's such a shame we can't use Assassin's Gambit, but we'll have to try to use Unseen Form. We'll have to try to use Unseen Form on them. Because you can, you can isolate all of them. But Unseen Form, of course, only lasts for 30 seconds for some reason. No, DS2 RL1 no upgrades is, is really insanely strong. The only the only thing that's tricky about that run is the iframes, right? But you get ridiculous ridiculously strong in Dark Souls 2 SL1 no upgrades. That would have killed me probably. I, I don't think the ex I, I don't know how much it extends the how much that talisman extends the spells but it's definitely not by that much I can't believe you hit me with that you bastard
Oh shit, I totally forgot about that. So, why did I want to do the Randy quest again? There's some reason, but I can't remember what. Oh, the in talisman, that's right. I don't think we're going to get Magic Scorpion. I guess we haven't, um, we haven't been into the Academy yet. I should probably go through there and, and try to get those helmets to get myself intelligence. Thou must have, though I have no Probably not a bad idea. Yeah, I think they I think they actually did put Magic Scorpion behind a big quest because they wanted sorcery to be more of a setup than the other other spell classes, but you get your re reward, right? You you have more setup, but Ultimately, they're better. I reside in and most other things. Maybe. I, I don't know. Maybe they don't think about it that much, but it seems like something that makes sense. He does reside in a tower nearby. This isn't a boss here, by the way. It does have an HP bar, but it doesn't count as a boss because you don't actually kill it until the Moonlight Altar. Okay, so let's go underground. I... Is it this? I think it's this one. Yeah, Cestus is really good. Second half of the ice land. Oh, you need to get the secret medallion. <laughs> That'd be a good YouTube video. Elden Ring's dumbest villain. Ah, not blood. Even in my it is in thy my thanks so we must. Ah. Hey. Okay. Statue, and I think I already went. Oh, I didn't go there. Well, on the way, we might as well kill this boss. Let's go on cake. What should I use for this boss, dude? I mean, you can't really go wrong with the star fist, can you? I, I do want to use holy damage, though, so maybe I'll try the tree. Use the tree. The last time, I guess it wasn't that impressive, was it? I want to try to use... Um, setups that the bosses are weak to, if I can.
No, it would still suck as ease. The fight would still suck, but it, it would be more manageable for melee weapons. Um, it's just the fight's still not fun because you go right up against him and then his attacks are not designed to to work when you're that close. And so he ends up just doing like a bunch of sword swings that go over your head. And then he's got one attack where he just does some spam that you can't dodge it. You just have to run out. It still kind of sucks, but it would definitely be an improvement, I think. Unidentified Sludge. Thanks for the brand new Prime, dude. I appreciate it. All right, let's, tr let's try the tree here. Yeah, the phase one is not bad. The phase one is okay. It's, it's more the phase two that's really bad. Of course. Why oh, you gotta do this to me, dude? Okay. Where's the damage? I'm dead. Yeah, I sent boys, boys through all that. Good damage, though. This, this, um, projectile, it, it might be the hardest hitting Ash of War projectile in the game because it's got a crazy multiplier for physical and holy damage. Seriously? Seriously, again? Look at that. He doesn't even know what to do. Oh, get totally cheese, dude. That's insane. It blasted. I didn't know it would work like that, but for some reason he didn't. <laughs> he couldn't start his boat, man. Yeah, the, the like his engine was dying on him, dude. Yeah, I have seen them shoes. Yeah. I can't say I like those one shots that much. Like, it's interesting that it's possible, but it's so unrealistic to get all those buffs and stuff. Not ethical to drill dead people? Well, too bad. It's probably more ethical than drilling alive people. So, at least there's that. Copy pasta from all bosses. Uh, The OK Boomer one. Hey, you guys need to watch that video. Hardest boss from all from software games. Uh, I would say um, I don't know. I would actually say it's probably Millennia, but it, it it's hard to say exactly. It's hard to say there's one definitive because it really depends on your build. And a boss like Sword and Saint Ishin is is hard no matter what, right? So there's no there's no shortcut in Sekiro to try to get super strong and and easily beat the boss like you can in this game for a boss like Millennia. I think though overall, if you know. I've seen a lot of streamers playing Elden Ring. I've seen a lot of people play Elden Ring and a lot of people told me their experiences with the game. I think overall, out of every single From Software boss, nobody, or I've never seen as many people struggle with a boss as Millennia. So, 
And people struggled with Ishin, but you know, usually once you get them that first time and you and you basically just learn the fight, it's not that complicated. Most of the time once people do that, then like they don't really have more issues with them. It does say that disease, yeah, but it, it doesn't really mean anything. It's because Twitch doesn't want you streaming at this bit rate, is why. And and Millennia is a boss that also continues to be difficult after, even after you learn her, she's still hard. Even if I go to fight her now, like I fought her for a lot of time. I've practiced her a lot and it's still very precise to no hit that fight consistently. Whereas the, the, and there's very few bosses like that that I've learned to that degree and they're still difficult after you know many hours of fighting them on no hit runs and stuff like that. And, and like there's only there's probably only one actual boss in Dark Souls 3 that I think is is similar not not in that they're similar as a boss but that is still gives you trouble for a no hit run after so much time and it's Osiris probably the only one because Deacons isn't like actually a boss so okay we got the we got the Stargazer heirloom You know, Cyrus is tricky. Even even once you're really good at the game, it's still it's still a tricky fight. And Millennia is sort of similar, I would say. All right, let's go. Where should we go now? I kind of want to kill some death birds, dude, because we have Solaria's tree equipped. So let's go here. Soul of Cinder. I I would say yeah, he's he's close to that, but it's not it's not the same degree, in my opinion. Seven strength. So I let's get on. I guess I don't really need to boost my holy damage. I wonder how much damage I do to this guy. This is just an, a really hard-hitting Ash of War. That's it. There's nothing really... It is holy damage, but... I use Howl, I guess. Yeah. That's a shame. Let's see how much damage it does to this guy. And I'm not, I, I don't even really have any buffs here. Definitely not bad. Nice one. That miss you. It's so easy to forget bosses, man. I really like the spear, or, or um, more specifically, the impaling thrust on those guys. It, it's why is it? Oh, because I bone back. Whoops. It's pretty good at hitting them. And it's fast too. Ice upgrade, I believe, is plus eight, which I do have. It's actually in this area. Yeah, I think I forgot to mark the Mariner on uh, my counter. Hardest DS2 bosses? Um, I think Ivory King, specifically for no hit, Ivory King is by far the hardest, including that phase one with all the knights. It's very tricky. 
And and just the boss him, himself is is really hard too. He's got some wicked fast attacks. I'd say for Noe, he's probably like the second hardest boss after. Well, I don't know. He could actually be up there with Millennia, in my opinion. Oh my goodness, this is really bad. I wanted to use the Ash of War on him. Wow. <laughs> That's not, that wasn't even a headshot. Hey, let me get away. Let me Ash of War your head. Goodbye. This weapon, this weapon for R1 plus zero, um, all boss no hit would be gigantic for all of these uh, undead enemies, especially the, the death birds, dude. Just totally collapse them, man. Okay, we're at 53. Let's go. I, I want to keep going to kill these death birds, man. Let's go kill this one. Uh, we haven't done the God Run 3 yet, no. I, I, uh, we got to do Demon Souls first, which I'll be doing pretty soon. Uh, it just it does a lot of damage because it's it it's got the crazy multipliers, basically. So to put it in perspective, the Bolt of Grand Sax is a pretty popular. Um, like ranged weapon and the multiplier or the the motion value as it's known in these games is 300 lightning damage um but for like that number doesn't really mean much i guess but Solurius tree so th this is a really hard hitting lightning ash of war right ancient lightning spear this is 275 physical and 275 holy so it's split damage but that's a lot it's basically all you need to know like that's a fuck ton of damage basically and so that's why, even at plus zero with basically no buffs, I guess I'm using last rights, which is a lot of, a big buff, but that's why it's doing this. And if you're leveled up, you will literally one shot any if if, if it's upgraded, even probably at RL one. If it's at plus ten, you will probably be one shotting every single death bird or death right bird in the entire game. You have the Banished Knight Halberd. Every single one in the game. And probably at RL1 too. So. Yeah, this is this is one of my favorite weapons in the game, actually. Because that Ash of War is, is like actually uh really insane. And on top of that being just good like high damage it's got crazy good poise damage too yeah you get this from killing Soluria who's she's a pretty tanky boss and you have to get into deep root for it that's that's the one unfortunate thing um all right where do we go next dude there's still a lot of enemies in here but I, I want to keep killing the death the death birds so let's go Let's go into... Let's go into here. Nerf Solari Street. They might. I actually... I, I think they might do that. Because the damage is just so absurd of it. You can watch that. I... Or actually, it's not on YouTube yet, but... During the, the 40 runs that we did at the end of last year, I did do a run with it. And for a holy weapon, it... It just blasts through stuff, man. Even against the holy resistance bosses, because there's still so much physical... Such a big physical component. That it still just rocks them, dude. And and they also buffed in the latest patch. They gave it piercing on the Ash of War. And so the beam or the like the drill goes through stuff now. Look at that damage, man. Oh shit, we already got him. Oh, that really hurt. My game's dying. Give 
me drill you. Insane dodge. That also has actually a pretty good point blank hit too. Oh, that didn't really do that much, did it? I think it's because my buff ran out. This is not good. That's what I get. No, you, I think you'll you'll need last rights probably because that's it's such a big damage boost. Um, which was buffed, right? I, is it? I think it's a hundred percent now, or, or it's like fifty or hundred percent. I can't remember. All boss no hit. Well, I've I've already done all boss no hit, so oh no. Not really. This is more just like a fun playthrough. I thought that would change it to nighttime. All right, let me show you how you kill this enemy. We killed this guy on the on the bare fist run to get some runes at the start of the game. The one thing about Soluri's tree though is that other than that Ash of War, it's kind of not good. It's not like a holy version of the Serpent Hunter. It, it, it is, but in terms of the moveset, but it doesn't really do much besides that. Yeah, it has to be nighttime. Yeah, the knight's cavalries and the knight or the death birds. It has to be nighttime for them. How's it going, Toto, by the way? Oh, and the Bell Hunters. Yeah, true. Just want him to come a little bit closer to me here. Are you running away? I'm scared, dude. You are one lucky bastard, dude. That's how you do it. I wonder which way is faster. Probably this way. Yeah, we cheesed him, dude. That's what he gets. But yeah, that's how I killed him on the fist run. This <laughs> was so just by flying him up there. Um, the red feather guy isn't near any sort of kill box, so I don't think so. Yeah, essentially what's happening there is um, the Academy Bridge like, so enemies can interact with kill boxes too. The way the way they're programmed, they're meant for the player, right? So if you if you go up on the bridge here and you jump off, that's meant to kill you. But, um, it also kills enemies, including bosses. Yo, uh, Dino, thanks for the 15-month resub, man. Welcome back, dude. Let's see if Solurius Tree can hit here.
Yeah, thanks so much, man. I don't know if it's got, like, the down angle. That's one thing, is that aiming this thing is, is really, really awkward. Okay, can you stop that? Why is he going nuts here? He knows I killed his brother. Let's see. Can this actually hit him from here? Yeah, look at that angle. That's not a good angle, man. Here we go. Sorta. Of. Not hitting him. I don't think that hit him in the head. It's better. Here we go. 56 down. Thumbs up. Thanks for the thanks for the brand new sub, dude. Any more death birds that want to be killed? I think we've actually killed all of the ones that we have access to so far. Is that right? No, it's not right. Going over here. Yeah, we're plus zero right now. Plus zero, and we haven't leveled up. So yeah, again, imagine this thing at plus ten, even without any any levels in the faith. Oh, I didn't even have the right houseman on there. Zero levels into faith. Or yeah, so if you if you just have this thing plus ten, then uh yeah, you are going to one shot every single death bird. As long as you have last rights, because last rights is is gigantic. Yeah, I killed the death poker one already. I think it was actually the first one I killed. Can I lock onto the boss, please? Yeah, the only thing is that, like, you see that height? Wow. That's too bad. <laughs> is it the best weapon in the game? Definitely not the best weapon in the game. I don't know if there, I don't know if in this game there is a, just a single best weapon. I don't think there is. It depends on the situation. Probably isn't a very good strategy, honestly, for these guys, man. Or it, it is, but maybe just not for the setup we have. What's another holy weapon I have? Let's try, let's use Ordovis on him. Except there's all these annoying snails around here, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna try to bait him back. Word of his greatsword is, is interesting because this Ash of War is one of the highest poise damage hits in the game. For the full charge, at least. Of course, he runs away from me. I'm gonna run away, then I'm. Oh! If I can get the full charge. I didn't see how much damage that dealt. Oh, here we go. He should stun. Really not amazing damage though, is it? But this is, this is kind of more what a normal, like, when you haven't leveled up and you're plus zero, this is kind of how the damage should be. It's just when you're using fucking Soluria's tree, it's not what happens. Oh boy. 
but it's just yeah the, the damage on Solaris tree is just so insane okay, there we go all right now that's all the I think that's all the death birds now that I have access to where should we go let's go let's go kill some easy bosses maybe the Megatron Yeah, the that that death bird there is annoying because of all the snails, I think. And they just roll at you. So if you don't have a way to deal with them, it actually makes it really annoying. Or this guy, what should I use? Let's use just the ant spur. What's up, Qui-Gon? Oh, the run's going pretty well. We got we actually got stuck on somebody, surprisingly. I got stuck on I got stuck on Esger. Or whatever his name is. Oh Jesus. I did not mean to roll right there, dude. Wow. We have 58. John Reeves, thanks for the thanks for the brand new sub. Thanks, dude. Best build for millennia. Well, I think if you're not going sorcery, if you're looking for a, a weapon, I definitely think one of the best setups is what I use on my first playthrough, which is uh, power stance spears with bleed, because you can kind of just repeat sprint attacks and. Um, you don't really have to learn her that well in order for that strategy to work. Right, so like the Naginata and some other spear. What should I use? What is this, uh, this enemy weak to up here, you guys? The... Maybe I should just use Solaria's Tree. But I think that's, that's a good option. Um, of course, if you are with sorcery, you can just go with, like, Night Comet for phase one, which will completely cheese phase one, and then phase two, um, you can kind of just kite around a dodge waterfowl from range. There's also the option of going with Lion's Claw in phase one, which will totally stun loop her, and she just, she can't get out if you do it properly. Like, you just do two Lion's Claws in a row, and then repost and repeat. Um, so that, that's a way to cheese phase one. Probably the fastest way to do it. Oh, thanks for the thanks for the brand new prime, dude. Thanks so much, folk. Yeah, you Lion's Claw is, is very good on her. Even in phase two, you can't totally loop her. Um But it'll still be really solid. Okay, I, I guess I'll try the tree here. Use Golden Bow. Or if I have that. Where'd I put Golden Bow? I'm, I'm obviously... Okay. <laughs> I can't use Howl unless I have uh, a Great Rune active, which I don't, so... Can I do this from here? Look at that damage. That's insane, dude. And he stuns, too. Get the repost though. This Ash of War is so good, man.
So good. Here we go. Yeah, and it, and and, and it, it is holy damage, like I said. But since so much of it is physical, it's it, like it's always good. All right, let's go blast this guy. Yeah, last rites doesn't really do much if you're not fighting an undead enemy, which is why I use golden vow instead. Eat misbegotten. I don't think I've fought any misbegotten yet. Wow, I didn't even have the good damage set up on for that. Sham. Wait, where do you get that from? But no, I definitely did not. Is it in that dungeon? This is actually really interesting. I didn't know. This is like the ultimate Mariner killer. Because why isn't he teleporting away? It, it, it is literally the ultimate Mariner killer. Maybe because he's getting staggered by it? That's really cool, if it is. I should have used this in all bosses, no hit to just one-shot all these enemies, man. Uh, where should we go now? I want to try another Mariner, but... Pretty killed this one. I already killed this one. Is there any more in the game? I think there's none left in the game. Yeah. Too bad. I killed them all. <laughs> Most annoying enemy. Well, if you, I think it's obviously the. Go kill that dragon up there. I think it's obviously. What are they called again? The revenants. If you don't have heals. Yeah, in the mountains, that's not really a boss though. It's tech, it's not considered to be a boss. Yeah, and I killed the one in Altus already, or Gelmir. But man, this weapon, dude. <clears throat> Might be like the strongest weapon for this run. Because it's just, it's so insane. I think, I think revenants are more annoying than tree spirits. But at least the one revenant boss is trivial because of the, because of heals. Just walk in there and heal next to him. He's instantly dead. I'm going to try the tree on the dragon. I might as well, man. Usually I'd go square off for one of these guys, but... This actually... This fight is really annoying. There is a revenant boss, yeah. I, get, I could go there. As soon as I get a heal, I can go there. And I'll show. It's going to turn around any second. Oh, nice tracking. I actually did not think that was going to hit. That's that's the dumb attack on this guy. He should stun on the next one, I think. Oh, I didn't headshot him. Aren't you stunning? I should probably just go square off. <laughs> I think that's probably better. Hard to beat square off on a dragon. In fact, I think it's impossible to beat square off on a dragon.
Uh, square off is a, is a huge hit. It's a big thrusting hit. That deals 40 poise damage. And since we're hitting the dragon in the head, it um, it gets 50% more poise damage, so it's, it's actually 60 if I hit him in the face. And he has 120 poise, so that means that if I get two headshots in like quick enough succession, he just stuns right here. And I'm pretty sure just every single dragon's weak to thrust. At least it wasn't Dark Souls 3, and usually they just went with the same thing. So, like, see, right there I got a 60 poise damage, and then 60, and he's stunned again. And he died. But Square Off it is, uh, yeah, I mean, Square Off is ridiculously good. Yeah, I guess Giant Hunt would be good too, but Giant Hunt doesn't have the same poise damage. So, but Giant Hunt would for sure be good. I guess we're at 60 bosses somehow. Yeah, I've seen some of Scum, uh, Scum Nuts videos. Yeah, they're pretty good. Pretty good. I like them. I wasn't super familiar with them until recently, though. But okay, here. What do we use against this guy? So, Strike is good. Large Club is probably the play. Oh, and you're aggroed immediately. Oh boy. I don't have Crag Blade though. Maybe I should try using the finger. Except it was nerfed though. Try the finger. Where is that? Finger. Oh my god, where's the finger? I surpassed it a million times. Oh, there it is. What'd I get? That is what I get. Right there. In my inventory? No, I need all this stuff, dude. I literally need all of it. I actually don't think the finger is good on these guys. But I'll use it just because why not. And of course, go charge our two build with probably this one. Hammers are good on basically everything. Hopefully that doesn't one-shot me. Can you strafe that poke? I don't think I've ever tried. Fozix, thanks for the 60 month resub, dude. Come back. Too bad we don't have the over 40 poise damage hammer, dude. Oh. Can you jump the poke, maybe? Imagine I'm just not doing it. Holy, that's, oh boy. That's like a basic swipe and that's with ritual sword on or ritual shield. Oh, God. Okay, well, that's a lot of damage, man. Yeah, that was worth Ritual Shield on. I should probably take off the Sore Seal then. I don't need it. With maybe Favor. Oh, 
Hopefully, I, I just like hopefully I can just survive a hit because this is a pretty long fight. Nope. It's really too bad. How can I not survive a hit on him though? That's so weird. I can't believe that. I guess we just gotta get good here then. <laughs> Oh my god, man. Okay. It's wild. I guess oh, let's get the uh let's get the great shield talisman. And then maybe I can survive. Or yeah, I guess it's not the Great Shield Tasman, but... Oh, whoops. Totally passed it. I don't really come down here too often. And also do not remember which item is the correct one. Oh shit, uh, Matt, thanks for getting eight subs, dude. Thanks so much, man. Make sure if you, if you got a sub, make sure you thank Matt. The legend, dude. Wait, do I die from this? Oh, I'm... I'm not. I didn't pass it already, did I? Or is it... I actually cannot remember where this is, dude. Is that the very bottom? Can I jump onto that thing? Kind of a pain in the ass to get down here, isn't it? That's shit on you, bat. You're supposed to be able to fly, you idiot. Alright, I think this is it, right? Dragon Crest Shield Talisman. Surely I survive with that. Surely. And Matt, thanks for giving us up to Hunter. Thanks, Matt, dude. Insane. Insane number three on the all time gifted, dude. Hey, you would think I can survive. If not, I'm going to have to go get the Physic. And our damage is really weak against this, dude. Maybe we should just use Square Off or something. We're just kind of weak. Oh, I don't even survive. Man, I don't remember this guy one-shotting me on R1 plus zero, but... That's crazy. Also, let me get the fucking grace behind him instead of this one. Yeah, just simply win, dude. Yeah, maybe with a rune, maybe with the the great rune on, I could survive. But yeah, that's that's correct, Catholic. Uh, unless it's um, unless you're like a special streamer, or unless I, they actually might have removed that. But um, it also depends on the tier. Like tier twos and threes, streamers get a higher percentage. 60 and 70, respectively. I think my B button is dying. At least open the door. Oh, yeah, that's true, too, I guess, yeah. 
Yeah, I think, I guess for non-partner, it's just 50-50 the whole time. It's, it's honestly so, it's not good. And, and a lot of other platforms are, there's not a lot of other op options, I guess, but like a, a, a platform like YouTube is 70-30 by default, which is obviously better. <laughs> Yeah, that's actually a really good point. Mistar, I could have just fucking teleported here. Yeah, my B button's actually dying. It's really bad. I wonder if I can just use Solurius Tree through the wall. Kind of lame, but I want to try it. See if it works out. We know defensive setups don't do anything for us, so... Uh, this controller lasted... I mean, it's not broken yet. But I've had it for a good year, I think. Oh... <laughs> Oh, baby. I get one-shotted by the blast. I guess I took off all my defensive stuff. Okay, what's the weapon to use here? I actually don't know. Maybe the large club, but it's maybe a little slow. Oh, we have Lion's Claw. We've tried Lion's Claw. I guess I didn't have Golden Vow on. That's good damage. Type, sort of. It was a sneak attack, I guess. The problem we're going to run into is FP. But since I don't need flash, I could go all... This is definitely not safe. The balls would be horrible here. Because, yeah, they're, they're not going to be able to hit the guy. It's a Vesper. Let's go all blue. Or, yeah, maybe, I mean... Yeah, the bubble tier is a good idea. I could try some heavier armor. Insane fashion, dude. <laughs> Pretty sure I'm not going to survive anyway, so... Honestly, the damage isn't even bad here. 
This is not too bad. Just when he gets in the sword phase, I, I don't have as many punish openings. I just got to do like roll attacks. Got to keep his poised damage going. Lion's Claw is so fucking insane, man. So good. Need more blue. in the head, dude. Uh-oh. Yeah, I actually should have reallocated my flasks here. Now we're in a weird spot. See, and Lion's Claw just has the range as well. Yeah, the club with Lion's Claw on it, dude. Holy shit. That was great for him. What am I missing here? I think Strength might be nice because I can actually use it more often. Compared to Howl, which I basically can never use at this point. So let's swap it out. Uh... Is the Black Blade weapon even good? I don't think it's great. I haven't really used it too much, though. It's a holy weapon, and... Look at that split. Like, it's a lot of holy damage on it. I don't think it's great. Oops. Yeah, let's give them... Let's just give them all the death root we've got. How many death roots are in the game? Seven? 
Is it seven the max you can give him? Beast roar. Beastal vitality is what I want. Was oh, it nine? Holy shit. Okay. Beastial vitality is very good. Oh, he's attacking me. Why is he attacking me? <laughs> okay, let's kill him, I guess. Why the fuck are you attacking me, you psycho? Actually, I've never seen this before. What do I use on him? B button, dude. What do I use on him? Maybe use the finger. You could bleed him? Psychopath. Put it, away. Put it away. That's a weird thing to say. He wants me to put it away, dude. Okay, well, I actually... I think I'm going to end here, you guys. We killed the Kindred. That's pretty good. We're at... 62 bosses down. Not too bad. I can't believe we got stuck on, like, Esger, though, or whatever his fucking name is. That's crazy. Yeah, short stream today. Um, I, I have some stuff to do tonight, so... Yeah, I've got some stuff to do. Yeah, thanks for uh, hanging out, you guys.